All right, guys, we've got another collection. I picked this one up from my buddy, Eric. We are going to go through it after this. All right, guys, I'm doing a quick 17,500 subscriber giveaway. Here are the items we're giving away. Do they look familiar? That's because they weren't claimed at the 15K giveaway. Now, if you want them, too late. It's been long enough. If you want to win them, stick around to the end of the video to find out how. All right, guys, we're going to get into this. If you could, please hit the subscription button, hit that notification bell, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video. If you don't enjoy the video, you could still hit the thumbs up. Doesn't mean anything, doesn't do anything. And I want to hear from you in the comments section down below. Let me know what you think about this little collection. Now, uh, my boy Eric, he came up and met me at my house, a good person in the community. He was looking to move some stuff just to get some money. And um, I forgot to record while he was here because we were just kind of, you know, talking and just BSing. And, but anyway, I did record digging through some boxes in my garage, which was after the fact. I know I, I like to record in the act while, while I'm at the person's house, while I meet them somewhere. And I just completely forgot so anyway uh we're gonna go through a box or two i think i don't even remember what i did and then we're gonna talk about the bigger keys that came out of this not as much as you would think but we're still gonna talk about them all right guys so here we go we've got what three six nine short boxes we've got some oversized magazines some ronins i believe that's it yeah directors that's book two some star wars now let's dig into a box here. Um, we're definitely gonna go over the keys at the end. Oh, a bunch of Captain America here. Captain America's hot right now. Oh, there you go. There's a nice book right there. Let's see, is the whole run here? I don't remember. One, two, three. No, I think it's a, it's a four issue run. Some more cap. Some Falcon Winter Soldier, some older cap. There you go. I believe there's a hip hop variant. Falcon Winter Soldier number one. All decent stuff. Nothing earth shattering, but some nice stuff. Some more Captain America. So when I see a big chunk of Captain America, I'm always looking for Winter Soldier stuff. Always looking for the Brubaker run. Especially the modern stuff. And that first uh, Sam Wilson as Captain America. Always looking for that. Other than that, there's not a whole tremendous, you know, batch of keys for Cap. Guardians, nothing crazy. Some more Guardians. All modern, modern stuff. Oh, more hip hop variants. There's an ex there's an exclusive variant that just passed. Some old man quill, and some spawn. Some older spawn. And you get here, you're looking for issues one and nine, really. That's a nice little variant. That's fun for signatures. There you go. One and nine, we just passed. And some Ghost Rider. Looking for that, what, number 28. Some Cosmic Ghost Rider. When it comes to the Cosmic Ghost Rider, I'm always just, oh, that's not too bad, huh? I'm always looking for, actually looking for Thanos. Marvel Spotlight 7 is a nice book. I believe that one was a little rough, though, and condition-wise, not that great. And some Black Panther. Some jungle action, I think, was in here. Hip hop variant, I believe. And uh, yeah, some jungle action. Some variants. And moving on, here we go. Turtles. Love finding turtles. That IDW run is fantastic. Reading and artwork, and there's some keys in there. It's that's a really nice run. This is the micro series. And that's the original series we just passed one. I think that was issue seven. Yeah, this is, I believe, the original run. So after issue four and that Raphael number one from way back when, um, 
the books have to actually went to normal size. Oh, that's it for turtles. Oh, we're back. Yeah, that's the original run from the 80s. There it goes. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's a nice book. First Invincible, right? Or uh, Immortal Hulk, I believe. Oh, that's a nice book. Dark Avengers. I've been piling those Dark Avengers number ones. They're super affordable right now. And if Norman Osborn ends up showing up in the MCU, I could totally see a Dark Avengers storyline building. So why not? Nice book. Some of it. Oh, yeah, another hip hop variant. That right there is, I believe, the first Scott Lang. Not as Ant Man, though. Or was it Scott Lang joins the Avengers? I don't remember. Some Infinity War. Infinity Gauntlet is the set to yet, though. So some Secret Invasion. That's not bad, especially with the Secret Invasion Disney Plus series coming. Original Sin. Uh, more Original Sin. More. Ooh, some Infinity Gauntlet. That's from, um, that's the Infinity Gauntlet. That's from uh, Secret Wars. Some more Secret Wars stuff. Some more, some more, some more. We're coming to an end here. We'll start going over the keys. All right, so here we go. We are going to go through the keys that came out of there. There was a good amount of like $5 and $10 stuff maybe, but uh, we're just going to discuss the bigger books that came out of this collection. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First up, Strange Academy number one. This is the Ramos variant. Easily my favorite variant of all of them. Forget like the second, third, fourth print, all that stuff, whatever. This one I really like, so it was kind of cool to find this one. And uh, this one's fetching, uh, I think like $40 to $50 right now raw, so nice little find there. How about one of the hottest books on the planet, especially when it comes to moderns? This is Something is Killing the Children number one. This is the third print. This thing just keeps getting printed and printed and printed. I don't know which one's going to end up being the most expensive. I know number one right now is a little expensive in 9.8, but uh, super happy. There was a whole bunch of Something is Killing the Children books in there. I forgot where he started his run. I think it was like eight, nine, or 10. So nice books. How about uh, Invincible Iron Man, number seven? This is that first Riri Williams. All right, nice book. I believe number nine fetches more money, but you can't complain with seven. Nice book. Uh, another hot book right now. This, I believe, was cover B, and I think this is like a $30 to $40 book, maybe. This is Department of Truth, number one. I believe this is the, the Friesen variant, uh, or the cover B Maybe it's only like a $20 book. I don't know. Anyway, Department of Truth is really hot right now. It's a great read. Tinian is just killing everything this guy touches. It turns to gold. And there's some really cool covers for all these. You know, a lot of exclusive covers. But this one uh, is number one, pretty sure, cover B. Um, now let's get into some big, uh, slightly bigger stuff. I'm excited about this one. This is Thor 337. Maybe you've seen this book before. Maybe you haven't. This is the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Unconfirmed for the MCU. Strongly speculated for the MCU to appear, whether it's Guardians of the Galaxy, whether it's, whether it's Thor, Love and Thunder. He's coming, I believe. I don't know. No true evidence? I mean, there we do have Stormbreaker, if that counts, but... With the multiverse, maybe anything's possible. They'll just do whatever. I don't know. Either way, you got to love Beta Ray Bill. Love this first appearance. Far from a 9-8, but still a nice book. Uh, all new, Wolverine number one. This is that hip-hop variant cover that has seen a lot of heat for unfortunate reasons. A lot of gains for unfortunate reasons, but still really cool cover. Uh, this is somewhere between 50 and 75, I think, right now. Not positive, but nice book. And one of my favorite moderns. Uh, this one has cooled off a bit, but do not sleep on this book. Venom, number three. First appearance of Null. I don't believe this is going to hit a 9.8. I looked pretty closely, and, and they don't all have to. I know I get hung up on the 9.8s, but when it comes to moderns, I believe they should be 9.8. Um, 
Nice book. I think the nine eights are still fetching between two fifty and three hundred. This is probably like a hundred dollar book, maybe maybe one hundred and fifty. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I'm not positive. But the next four books is, are the best books in my opinion that came out of this collection. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's start with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four. Uh, this is a first print. If you know where I'm going with this, then you know what the next one is. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. This is also a first print. Next, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two in a second print. This one's pricey in a first print, and the second print is also climbing. How about to close things off, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. This is the third print. I have never found a second print. Forget finding a first print in the wild. So between these four books, you have the first appearance of all the turtles, first appearance of April O'Neil, first appearance of the party wagon, first appearance of Shredder, the Foot Clan. I believe you also have the Mousers. Uh, no Casey Jones. His first appearance is actually Raphael number one. Um, a lot of first appearances in these four books. They just go so well together. I love the covers. These, um, I am going to get these graded. I think out of everything we went through, these are the only ones going off to CGC because I, uh, they, I may be keeping these for the PC depending on the grade. Number one, definitely not, but you never know with the others. I always try to upgrade and I have turtles one through four. Number one's my third print. Number two is the second print, but I always want to upgrade the PC. We'll see what these things come back as. And it's going to be a while. The magazine tier is very, 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 very backed up at CDC. So this was the whole collection. These were the best books that came out of it. You know, I, you always hear me say, nobody's retiring off this, but they're really nice books, this little batch. And uh, they'll be coming to an auction or show or convention near you. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think. I'm not going to talk money on this one. I decided not to when I was talking with Eric. And um, the only thing you need to know is number one, he walked away happy. And number two, I completely forgot what I paid for it anyway. This was a while ago. So uh, it takes a long time to get through, go through these collections and then make these videos. And sometimes these videos sit for weeks and then they come out. I, f I don't remember. Anyway, I, I'm pretty sure he was happy. Uh, I would like to think he would have told me if he wasn't and we could have worked something out. So thanks a lot for watching this. I do appreciate it. And as always, keep it comics. All right, 17,000. 500 subscriber giveaway. Here are the items once again. In order to win these prizes, what you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like this video, as well as comment on this video. Once we hit 17,500 subscribers, I will do a live show, randomize the comments from a random video, and we will choose our winners. Good luck to everyone, and thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and participating with this giveaway.